Whoa, guys, great to see you again. I got another awesome toy set to review for you guys today. Today, I have the Jurassic World Mini Dinosaur 15 Multi Pack Battle Damage from Walmart. This is an awesome 15 pack of dinosaurs. But what is this? Our T Rex here is not happy with the in the raptor. Oh, they're, they're fighting. Who gets to open the package? <laughs> oh, he bit him on the tongue. It's gotta hurt. <laughs> well, while these guys are battling, we're gonna sneak behind them and open up that package. Welcome to WT Toys Papa. Okay, guys, I am super excited. When I seen these at Walmart, I was like, wow. They got a lot of awesome battle damage dinosaurs. This is the actual size here you see on the box. It says 15 included. Big huge picture of the Indoraptor hatching out of. Yeah, really cool. Whoa. So these are the 15 that are included in the package. We have the Mosasaurus. We have a T-Rex. We got a... Uh, Metricanthosaurus, Triceratops, ooh, in the raptor too. We've got a Stegosaurus, we've got a Baryonyx, Dilophosaurus, Stingy Maloc, Velociraptor Blue, and a Patasaurus, and Allosaurus, Indominus Rex, Carnotaurus, and Pteranodon. Sweet! Okay, well, let's go ahead and open this up. This is showing to cut it open with scissors. Okay, are you guys as excited as me? Awesome! Let's check it out. What? It's an empty package! What in the world? Mattel sold me an empty package? Just kidding, guys. I was just messing with you guys. Checking out what you would think oh wow I love the way they package this too look at this and I bet you if you take it out you could store them in here if you want to so this should open up like a book here and let's see if they stay here uh, some of them are gonna fall off okay wow so this is like the book of dinosaurs. <laughs> cool! I'm going to start with the Mosasaurus because this is actually going to be the first Jurassic World Mosasaurus that I have unboxed because I have not got the big one yet. And guys, this one has an action feature. This bag, I believe is a $10 bag. Of 15 dinos and some of them still have action features how awesome is that that is such a good deal and they give you this cool card which identifies all of them with all the mistakes I've been making lately identifying these dinos I might need this card <laughs> sorry guys some of the days I mean I'm just so tired making these videos I, I do make mistakes so I apologize for that but anyways this guy is this is a big figure look at that for a mini dino it's big mouth opens up okay it's all blue they didn't differentiate in color or anything but really cool but I'm not seeing battle damage the other ones have like battle damage the Mosasaurus does not but anyways first mosasaurus awesome our next one is gonna be the indoraptor and i'm sorry guys but that is one cool looking indoraptor okay he doesn't have any action features but he is down on all fours ready to attack he's got his yellow stripe everything is black besides the yellow stripe so it's 
you know, they didn't take a lot of time painting it, but you know what? It's really cool. Its arms and legs feel like they're made out of rubber. It's got the little logo on the bottom. It's got like a number here that identifies it. So, it's still really cool. Okay, then our next one is going to be an Allosaurus. So here is the Allosaurus outside the gates of Jurassic Park. So this one actually does have battle damage. It's just this splash of red. I mean, the detail on the dino is awesome for a cheap little minifigure. They stand really well. And as soon as I say that, it falls over. But no, they do stand really well. So that's cool. Not adjustable feet, but still really cool. And then we got the uh, Stiggy Malak. So this guy is all orange. Again, really cool looking. This is the first Stiggy Malak for Jurassic World um, unboxing. Uh, great detail on this guy. You can see uh, he's got like the bony plate on his head there. Wow, so this guy is all orange. And like I said, they all have the uh, emblem on here, the symbol, and they're identified by numbers. So I'm I'm thinking you could just look up the numbers if you want to, to identify these guys. And guys, my first Indominus Rex I'm unboxing. Look, this guy's see-through. Look, you can see my finger right through it. So this is like the invisible Indominus Rex, but even this guy is awesome. I mean, these mini dinos, I'm blown away for the price you pay for this. I mean, go buy 10 of these things and have a bunch of mini dinos. It's really worth it. I mean, they are awesome. Uh, the detail is definitely here. I mean, if any of you guys are like artists, and you went ahead and painted these guys, they would look really cool. And then we have uh, Triceratops. So this guy's like all brown. I mean, even his eyes are brown. They did not take time painting it. I mean, for the price you pay, they're not gonna take time to paint everything in super detail. But you know what? Like I said, if you're an artist, you could do an awesome job. I mean, if you do paint in any of these guys, go ahead and send me some pictures because I will love to see them. And our next one is gonna be a Stegosaurus. So this guy is all green. Once again, super great detail. You've got the uh, battle damage here. I mean, you know, battle damage is it's kind of... It's just a splash of red paint, so it's, you know, it's not actually any battle damage, but, you know what, for a less expensive set, it still looks awesome. Okay, let's see, who am I pulling out here now? This is the Baryonyx. Oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, you could see the detail there on the little characters. I mean... Really, I want some of you guys to paint these guys to look like movie authentic and send me the pictures. I would love to like make a video of all the different pictures of my fans that have painted these dinos. So awesome. And then our next guy is the T-Rex. Sweet. I love the T-Rexes on uh, that Mattel have made. So once again, really great details. Just ah, these would look so nice if they were painted. I mean, super nice. I really need an artist out there, guys. So any of you guys that feel like doing it and you're good at painting, paint it. Send me some pictures. I would love it. Apatosaurus! Once again, his battle damage is a splash of red paint! It's like I, I just threw red paint at the guy. So, basically that is the battle damage. But even this guy, super great detail. So I guess, uh, I guess the Mosasaurus is gonna be the only one that has a moving part. 
But you know what? That's awesome, too. I mean, that Mosasaurus was really cool. And then our next one is... Velociraptor Blue! Ho ho ho! They did a nice job on this one. Uh, so he's like all gray color, except for his blue stripe. He even has his third claw. I mean, a lot of these mini uh, figures, they would just figure, uh, why put in a third claw? It's so small, but, you know, with Mattel, I mean, they went all out, guys. I mean, you gotta buy these toys. We gotta support Mattel, guys. They are awesome. Our next one is... A Metricanthosaurus! Sweet! So once again, just a little splash of red on this guy. But, the detail is definitely there. I mean, these guys are definitely ready to be painted. Next one is a Dilophosaurus! Sweet! This guy is awesome too. Although, once again, not painted, but you know, even not painted, I really like it. So here is the battle attack one that they have. So I mean, if you went ahead and painted this girl to look like that one, look at that. That would look totally awesome. And then we have an awesome Carnotaurus. Let me try zooming in on these guys and girls because I mean, the detail is there. Look at that. I mean, you've got the individual eye and everything. It, it just looks so good. I mean, if, like I said, if these were painted, I mean, they would look shockingly good. Check that one out. Here it is compared to the full-size one. The full-size one is really cool with the realistic head move motion, so it could chomp. Oh no! He ate himself! What are we gonna do? Ah! He's a can- she's a cannibal! Like many of you guys had mentioned in my comments, this is Toast! So I guess the gaming beaver named this girl Toast. And then our final one is a Tranodon. Once again, really great detail on this girl. Uh, she's like blue with like a reddish brown color on the wings there. So, I really do like these. One thing, uh, I don't know, one thing I'm not liking is they match up exact to the colors here. So, there's a good chance we are not going to be getting color variants in these dinos which would be a shame because I would love to get different color variants maybe in the future they will and there is all 15 of them outside the gates of Jurassic Park they look really awesome but what is this oh no they're still fighting look then the raptor is grabbing all of these T-Rex is grabbing these ones. Oh, they're fighting over who gets what. Oh, no. They took all our dinos. What are we going to do now? Uh-oh. Oh, look. They're giving up. They agreed to share them. Okay. Sounds cool with me. Wow, guys. Those are some awesome dinos. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead, click like, drop me comments. Also, guys, if you got over a thousand videos, the majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Power Rangers, Transformers, lots of awesome videos. So, if you guys want to check those out, check out the playlist on my channel, or simply wait till the video ends if you want to see uh, more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom videos. Thanks, you guys are awesome, and I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. 
click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos and if you want to see even more go ahead and click the subscribe button.